Welcome back to the Triverse scene of Shinmu 3. We are on our search for our Kung Fu Master. So I'm gonna head to the dojo. And if he's not the Kung Fu Master I'm looking for, then I'm gonna level up my Kung Fu. Dramatically. Leon. Hmm? See you later. It sounds yeah. like it's raining. See you soon. Because that's not fire. Um, Kung Fu. Dude, that sounds like rain. But it's not raining. Am I crazy? Or is that my headphones? I don't know what that sound is. Though. Maybe I'm, I'm... Yeah, stop now. Pardon me. Yes? I'm looking for a martial arts expert. The Hermit's Nest. Huh? You took on those ruffians in the Hermit's Nest, didn't you? I did. And you're looking for a way to beat them, yes? I, uh, yeah. Well, you won't find the answer here. Huh? Why not? Your desire to save the villagers is admirable. Nay, it is your duty. Then you have to. But you are not ready. How do you know? Your impatience clouds your judgment. That will get you in trouble. So, what should I do? Training is the only answer. Clear your mind and train. That's what I came here to do, besides asking you that. Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? Oh, no, 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 Have no. Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? I don't think I can level up anything, so let me... Come back anytime. I'll be waiting. Because I can't beat him right now. He's on an entirely different level. Um... Yeah, I mastered everything. I'm gonna have to go work on my endurance and attack. So I'm gonna cut this bar and part. Well, I don't know if you guys seen this or not, so I'm gonna. One inch punch. I don't remember. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Oh, it is raining. But this is my favorite one. I just like this one. The satisfied, the satisfying sound of an excellent. No, not that one. Oh, I missed that. I'm gonna get one eventually. That sound right there. That was too early. <laughs> Man, I haven't missed this much. Jeez Louise. That was terrible. You guys aren't watching the next couple. Maybe I'll practice some more. Never mind. Like for right now, I can't uh, increase my endurance, I mean my attack, because I don't have any scrolls. 
But if you like watched uh, the first time I did that one inch punch, and to the last time I did it, my technique has actually changed to a shorter distance from that um, wooden post. So his technique has gotten better. Now I'm gonna go chop some wood and make some money. Good. That's it. I guess this should do it. No, I'm good. Well, I ain't forcing you to do anything. The job will be waiting for you. You all right? You had me worried, you knucklehead. Sorry. It's one thing to be confident in your abilities, but it's another to be reckless. Don't make Xinhua worry like that. Sure. Do you know any martial arts experts? You still looking to fight? I'd show you my signature move, if I can move like I used to. I see. <laughs> this dude. All right. We're going to head into the city and talk to that um, giant guy. I forgot his name, but. There's a trophy for collecting all of the herbs here, but I am not going to find all of those. The vap is very misleading. Zhu Xiong? You seem kind of distant. What? Think I haven't heard? You went toe to toe with those thugs at the hermit's nest, didn't you? You could say that. Do you know any martial arts experts? An expert? Well, there's, uh, you know, that guy. For the life of me, I can't remember his name. I've been really forgetful lately. That's okay. My late father was like this too, when he was about 40. Boy, am I old. Right. Well, we got, we have, um, this girl over here. We have Master Fang. I think that's his name. Uh, but there should be a girl up here. I'm gonna talk to her real quick, get some information. There she goes. I need help with something. Is it safe for you to be out here? What? I heard that you were kinged up on by the thugs in the hermit's nest. I'm surprised you're not in bed. Other than a few cuts and bruises, I'm fine. I'm looking for some martial arts experts. You shouldn't be walking around right now. Grandmaster Fung would probably say the same thing. Grandmaster Fung? Yes, he was really worried about you too. Ah, I see. Fong, not Fang. Um, they should be down this way. Yeah. He's gonna complain about food in a in a second. I gotta try to curve that. Like I want to get all the herbs here, but dude. I've been picking them up by like random and I haven't been marking them off my map unless they disappear once I get them that'd be helpful but I don't think that happens like that still enjoying this game I just want to see where the story goes it's like there's only like two main areas this one and another one that I haven't come across yet so let's see what happens Excuse me, Grandmaster Fung. Mario. I need a favor. What kind of favor? Yenxing needs our help. Ah, yes, the boy in the hermit's nest. And that means I need your help. Show me how to defeat those thugs. I cannot. Why not? Anything you picked up now would only be half-baked. But... Do you hear me? A half-baked skill is a double-edged blade. 
These things cannot be learned overnight. I don't care. You have to teach me. Be gone. Grandmaster. I have nothing left to say to you. Grandmaster! Damn. What do I do now? Yeah, I was gonna go to him next. Wait. There's that move. I'll ask soon about it. Um, do I need some? I'm gonna go buy some wine. I have buns. So, I'm not gonna look at that. I know where to go. Um, is there a store by here? No. Hmm. I was gonna say something about Master Fun. Like, I don't know. Just young people don't listen. It's like, dude, I. It's, it's good and bad. I can't teach you this technique and you learn it overnight and you go out there. You're not fully equipped yet. This man doesn't understand that. Uh. I don't think. Hopefully he doesn't want anything. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, I went through the wrong part. What's going on here? Like, hopefully he doesn't want anything wine-wise. Goodness, come on. Because that would suck. I could have ran there now, but hopefully he's like, hey, I want to help. You don't have to give me any wine. Ah, I want to go back there. Place the liquor and buns on the offertory box. Oh, good grief. I do have to do that. That reminds me. I need to find some liquor. Something told me to do it. Is there a quick turn mechanic? Really? Oh, that wasn't really a quick turn, but... Oh, I was so close. I was like, I'm not gonna have to do that this time. Nope, joke's on me. I'm gonna buy the cheapest wine I could find. That lady with those glasses has it. I'm just gonna go to her. I think she's the closest. Make a right at Albuquerque. Pow! Got it. This lady right here. She has it all. Excuse me. Welcome to my Baijiu stand. You said I could skip this part, but. Uh, what's, what's the cheapest one? That's 11. Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as it's wine. Appreciate the business. I appreciate you. And now I'm back off. That kid has his soccer ball. I have to... Um, darn it. Oh, get some more money to buy one of those scrolls. Because, man, oh, man, I don't have any techniques. Hopefully this green spear here. Spear. Not spear. Spear. Alright, we made it. Lure this man out. Mr. Soon. What is it now? I'd like you to teach me a technique. Oh, yeah? Specifically, the body check you showed me when we sparred the other day. Hmm. Body check is a signature move, one of the eight big openings in Baji Tren. 
And I can't just teach it to you for nothing. I'll do anything. Please. Anything you say? Yes. So, you promise to follow my orders to a T with no back talk? Uh, yes. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Then find me some aged Laojio, a seven liter jug. Aged? At least 50 years. What does that have to do with... Back talk already? No, I just... Now get going. Shoot! Uh, okay. I want something with a 50-year age statement. Don't you forget. I... I was gonna buy that the first time. Uh, 50... Okay, got it. I, I know what that is. It's either that old lady had us in that first shop or the um, above 60, doesn't matter. Just something a little bit that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> um. I, I, I always wonder what the strap was on the back of those liquor bottles, but when he, once he did it the first time, I was like, dude, that's very convenient. Or 20, 30? 30 minutes in? Oh, okay, that's the right way. Yeah, this lady in this other shop, it all depends on how much it is. It's, hopefully it's not expensive. Yeah, this lady over here. Let me guess. You're not here to buy anything, right? Well, actually. Oh, so you're really in the mood to shop? Yeah. Well, all right then. What is it you're looking for? Do you have any 50-year-old Lao Jo? I have a few old bottles, but 50 years? I don't know about that. I see. I have quite the liquor collection, so why don't you take a look for yourself? The bottles and bins might look the same, but the years are different, so look carefully. Okay, I'll take a look. Like, I, I came here because I knew she had it. Why, hello there. Out shopping today? I have so many things that it's hard to keep track. I know I saw 50 somewhere. Maybe she didn't have it. Five year, five year. Huh. She's 32. Someone else is 27. I'm um, okay, lady. Thanks for nothing. Come on back whenever you're in the mood. D I promise. I'd like some wine. Gladly. What will it be? Did she have it? Oh, good grief. 15 years. Okay. Come again. Who else sells something? Let me see. Excuse me. What is it, handsome? No, I don't want to talk to her. Do you know where I can find a store that sells 50-year-old Lao Jo? If you want a drink, just come over to my house. You can drink as much as you want. I don't have any 50-year-old Lao Jo in my house, but I do have plenty of other delicious drinks. What's your pleasure? No, thanks. Are you saying you don't want to drink my liquor? Now that's just rude. Right. I wasn't trying to talk to her. Excuse me. Hiya. Do you have any 50-year-old Lao Jo? Well, I'm a woman of that vintage, but I'm afraid nothing in my stock is. I see. My customers only go for the cheap stuff. The general store over there might have more expensive liquor. Got it. Thanks a lot. Okay, neither one of those of, were of help. 
Um, who drinks? Who drinks? Who drinks? Who drinks? There's not another store that I'm aware of. Okay, I'm just gonna eat one of these. Hmm. 50 year old. Excuse me. Do you know where I can find a store that sells 50-year-old Lao Jiu? Oh, I gave up the bottle a long time ago. It was a struggle, and believe you me, I still have my regrets. So I'd rather you not bring up that topic. Sorry to bother you. Thanks, man. You're still my go-to. There's a kitchen. Um, where could I go? I don't, would he know? Zhu Xiong? What is it, Brio? Do you know where I can find a store that sells 50-year-old Lao Zhou? If it's a stiff drink you're after, you could do worse than the Baiju stand in the Panda Market. I see. You watch your drinks. The Baiju stand doesn't keep tabs. Got it. Thanks a lot. All right, no help. Um, let me see here. She, I'm gonna ask her anyway. She probably doesn't, won't talk to me, but. Hi there. Ah, young boy. Liu, was it? Yes, that's right. Shenhua doesn't seem to be with you today. How do you know? I can just tell. Okay. A bunch of nothing from her as usual. Um, sunset. I don't know where to go to find us. Oh, I forgot about this area. What is that? Excuse me. Ah, you again. I've got time on my hands. Tell me a story, won't you? Well, actually. If you've got no good ones, let me tell you old stories about the village. Uh, mine as well. I'm all ears. Right. A long time ago, this village was robbed by a band of bandits. It's been almost 60, no, 70 years ago. The bandits were here for gold, liquor, and the women. When the time came, the men ran away, and those who claimed to be fighters disappeared into thin air. Out of nowhere, a young man shows up to face off against 100 bandits. He took a butcher's knife from one of the bad guys and left a sea of blood in the village square. He went after any fleeing bandits on horseback and took every last one of them down. The peace of the village and the chastity of the women were protected. That young man. Well, there's no hiding it. It was me. Right. Thanks to that, all the ladies wanted to marry me. It wasn't easy dealing with all those proposals. I've been around the block a few times, but never took the plunge to get married. You can turn 80, and the only partner you still need is liquor. My business is doing well, but I've given up on striking it rich. I see. That's all in the past, anyway. Right. Um, eh, here we go. Excuse me. Eh? Do you know where I can find a store that sells 50 year old Lao Joe? 
Don't know if we have any wine that old. Try asking Kong Mei. Sorry, who? The owner of Kong Mei Goods in the Panda Market. Got it. Thanks a lot. Do you have a moment? I'm looking for a store that sells 50-year-old Lao Zhou. I have a few old bottles, but 50 years? I don't know about that. The bottles and bins might look the same, but the years are different, so look carefully. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. What is it? Do you know where I can find a store that sells 50-year-old Lao Zhou? Maybe they'd sell it at a general store? And where might that be? Ever heard of Taoget? It's just before the Verdant Bridge. Ah, uh, okay. They sell a lot of rare items. Maybe vintage wine is one of them. I see. Looking for something? Yeah, sort of. Do you have any 50-year-old Lao Zhou? I've got a wide liquor selection. Have a look-see. I see. Uh, thanks. I'll have a look. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Excuse me. What is it? There's something I want. What's that? I'll be here. Thanks.